Hey guys, it's April 29th, 2018. The weather is a little cloudy and chilly today, but this week has been pretty warm. So that's good for all the plant growth. And you can see it from this lavender. There's a lot of new growth and it's a lot greener. As for the rosemary, um, I've kind of looked into the symptoms and I can see some spots on some of the leaves and stem. Those are like very dark spots, almost black. So I think it might be some sort of fungal disease, but I, I'm not sure yet. The succulents are doing well. And here, this bulb plant, you can see it has done flowering. The flowers are now going away. This guy, it's probably dead. And then the hydrangea, it's looking really good. You can see that some flowers gonna open up from there. Summer snowflake is just growing um, taller. Lilies, we have like about five lily plants. It's probably gonna flower and a month or so and the straw flower you can see a little german s germinated seedling over there english ivy it's doing well i like how slow growing it is it's just there and the um, saffron you can see it's all yellow now um, other summer snowflakes uh, are getting a little too tall for the space so yeah, I'm going to move them to a different location. And then this ball plant over here, you can see a purple flower coming out right there. That's the first flower, I believe. Hopefully we'll get more. And then the Venus flytrap, still here. Growing slowly though. And then here we have the garlics. Yeah, you can see they're growing slowly but surely looking good i think and here we have the persian pearl tulip you can see the flowers has faded and this is the seed pod and you can see the leaves has started turning color so yeah it's probably gonna die back really soon and this variety of grape hyacinth is pretty much done flowering as well you can see the flowers are dying away but the leaves are still green, so I'm gonna cut the flower off pretty soon. California poppy. Um, this flower has been um, on this plant for almost over a week, so it's a long lasting flower, which is good, and it's pretty big, so. And the plant itself is big too. And here's another flower that's gonna open soon, and another one. This one's gonna open um, sooner than the other smaller bud. But yeah, it's very pretty. I'll take some pictures when it's actually sunny and when it's open. I'll just give you a, a, s a few more closer look at the flower. And then here we have the artichoke. Right here you can see the artichoke flower. As I mentioned last week, I can kind of see it from the side but this week it's very obvious that there's a flower coming up so yeah i'm super excited it's my first artichoke and it's gonna be small but you know it's fun to grow and then the raspberries you can see the flowers over here it hasn't opened yet soon though blueberry a lot of flowers still here. Gonna get a lot of blueberry this year for sure. Daffodils, as you can see, I cut off the um, faded flowers. So now it can spend its energy on just growing more bulbs. Strawberry, finally, we can see the flowers. Um, yep, yeah, hopefully we can get some nice strawberry this year but i doubt it because they don't look too happy to me but we'll see it's it's still early in the summer so well spring and then this guy i, I still think it's poppy but we'll see
we need to wait. And then this part we have the plain corpses over there. And then you can see a bunch of the crimson clover flowers. It's very cute. It's pretty long too and it, the texture is very soft. Hopefully we'll get some bees. And then the hyacinth, you can see I cut off the flowers as well. Some of the leaves are turning a little yellow. Rhubarb, nothing really to talk about. It's pretty much the same. And then the calla lilies looks pretty much the same, but you can see um, the, the leaves has uh, started to open up now since it's been a little warm. And the uh, lacy facilia, hopefully gonna grow faster. Peony leaves are definitely turning a lot greener and don't really see it any more growth from the base so that could be it for the season tulip no tulip this year you can see the flower is dried up and just a lot of leaves so I'm just gonna let it recover here the mulberry um, looks pretty much the same but the leaves are getting a little bigger so it's growing and yeah can't wait for for it to get bigger and here we have the asparagus you can see it recovered pretty quickly after i harvested the first two asparagus this this longer one comes up and then this one comes up so two of them comes up from this um not individual asparagus plant but a part of that plant and then you can see here we have three more this one comes up earlier than that one and then there's another one right there and in the center there's another one so uh, I don't think I'm going to be harvesting those I wanted to recover from the harvest and for the vegetables you can see the beets are now evenly distributed on this side of the pot garlic carrots and the potato. The potato is looking very healthy. And yeah, you can see I kind of put a wire around it so it doesn't cover up um, the sunlight for other plants. And then here we have the lily of the valley. You can see all the flowers are open now. It's really pretty. Here we have two more string of flowers and then here we have two pink um, lily of the valley dahlia you can see here the the second bulb cluster um, is sprouting now as well and then this one uh, has al already been sprouting since last week crocus just leaves now lots of leaves no more flowers so yeah that's it for the crocus just gonna let it photosynthesize. Hydrangea, you can see a lot of flowers over the shrub and lots of leaves. Blueberry, catnip. Catnip is looking way healthier once I got rid of all the aphids. Hopefully we'll get some flowers which will attract more bees. And then this uh, small, medium-sized hydrangea plant flowers are already turning color. You can see it, it could be pink this year. They might change color though. And then the grape hyacinth, a lot of flowers still. It does smell pretty good from here. They smell kind of like hyacinth. And then the snowdrops, you can see just leaves just like last week, but then this part is turning yellow, so that part is dying back already. And as for the indoor garden, um, the succulents are doing all right. And then the aquatic plants, as you can see, I might have over fertilized that one a little bit. This one may be over fertilized too, a bit. And you can see on the right side, the big leaf, it has become a little transparent, probably damaged the leaf somehow. But then there's a new leaf coming up the center and for the orchid um, this guy I think it's doing well nothing too much 
to talk about. And then this guy, no sprouting, prayer plant, looking good. This leaf is actually pretty big too. Other orchids, they're all looking fine. No major updates for you. Staghorn fern. This orchid, this moth, moth orchid. Um, you can see a new leaf coming up from the center. Right there. And then the other orchids, not really much to talk about. And then this guy, there's a lot of new growth. Like here, there's one, and then here's another one. I think there's about three or four new growths from this orchid. Just a little hard to find it because there's so many. There's one. And then the dragon um, tree, it's looking good. It's sturdy when I touch it, that's a good sign. And then the seeds for marble vine isn't germinating yet. Staghorn fern is doing well. And then we he here we have the Hoya plant. You can see this new growth is taking off. And the plant just looks happy in general. Here we have the philodendron, or I forgot the name. But yeah, it's doing well. The vines are coming out slowly now. Hopefully it will be hanging soon. And then this huge prayer plant is doing well, as usual. Um, let me see. There's this super nice long vine right there. Let me show it to you. Like right here. Super long vine. And then here, the big new growth is still looking ma majestic, as usual. The leaf is just about the size of my hand. A little smaller now. And then here we have the succulents. And now you can definitely see the, the little, a little pink reddish coloration from this guy. This guy, they're all doing really well. And this uh, spider plant, you can see it, look, it looks very healthy and it's actively growing. And here we have the bird nest fern. The camera is focusing on the wrong thing. Let me take the glass out for you. Right here. It's doing really well. I'm still surprised till this day. I'm still surprised. And um, yeah, and then the other staghorn fern and this guy over here, they're all doing well.